Hello, I'm Graham Martin with Prudential Northwest Properties. Today we're going to be talking about the construction of floating homes, literally from the float up. With me today is Mark Even, owner-operator of Even Construction, the premier builder of custom floating homes. And he is here to tell us exactly how these unique properties are built from the float up. Mark, would you please explain to the people how these properties are made? Thanks, Graham. Uh, We've been building floating homes for about 15 years. Uh, this is a standard uh, log float with steel stringers. What that creates is it creates a platform for, for the structure that's being built on it. Um, this particular float is going to have, it has a metal pan. It has floor heat, which is a, a radiant floor heat. We're going to pour concrete on this. This pan alone will, will uh, have 10 yards of concrete, which, which equates into 30,000 pounds of weight which is pretty substantial for, for a float like this. Um, we're putting a lot of foam, which are foam blocks, which support, which create uh, a lift for our floats and they keep the, the float from sinking down into the water. We'll, we'll probably have, actually right now, we have 50 blocks of foam, which are, which, uh, are two by two by four feet long. Um, so once that's poured, the house obviously will, will settle down. Um, when, once the structure is built on this particular flow, we'll probably have 100 to 125 blocks of foam. Once the steel stringers are set um, on four foot centers, they are they create the platform for the for the structure. Uh, once we get to this point, um, after pouring the concrete, we'll we'll start building the house, which will as we build, we'll be adding foam as the weight keeps pushing the, uh, the house or the, the float itself down into the water. We'll be adding foam as we go. What we're going to try to do is we're going to try to keep it as flat as we can. If we do things out of order, we'll get a twist in the float. And what that does is that will continue up to the roof, which would cause some real building problems. So that's one of our, our big concerns in the construction side of this is we want to be real, we want to be real leery of how the float's sitting. Uh, we want to keep our foamer coming back and do put, adding foam where, where needed to, uh, to keep the float nice and flat. Our time frame from start to finish, from float to completed structure, turnkey, is 8 to 12 months, depending on the size of the, of the house.